from Gay Barrett's good news. Good news from the dog for his We got some set up over here by the ACLU. Sounds like everybody is partying over that way. Celebrating. What they would call liberation. What they would call being liberated. And that's what I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today. That's what I want to preach to you a little bit about today. I want to talk to you about your sin. I want to preach a little bit about your sin. And this is what the Bible says about your sin that you guys are celebrating. That when y'all say that uh, that you are liberated, that you are free to do. But can I just tell you that there is no liberation in sin. There is no freedom in bondage. Absolutely no freedom in bondage. And I do want to say this to you, that sin is nothing to be proud about. Sin is nothing to be excited about. Sin is nothing to be uh, extravagant about to uh, 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 parade out here in front of everybody. I, I see kids out here, little children, and of uh, and, uh, such. And uh, so I just want to say to you that sin is nothing to be proud about. Being gay is nothing to be proud about because it is a sin against God. It's a sin against God. People talk about, people talk about, well, you know, I, I, I've got a relationship with God, but yet you are still homosexual or yet you still support homosexuality. But the Bible says that God gives grace to the humble. And I want to say to you today that this is not, this is not humility. This, this is not being humble at all. But it's, it's, it's full of pride, it's full of arrogance, and we're going to talk about that here. We're going to preach about it. Just for a little while. The Bible says, well, God, simply put, all godly people Oh God. All godly people obey God. All godly people follow God. And, and again, I want to say to you that sin is nothing to be proud about. It's nothing to, it's nothing to, it's nothing to, to, to run home and tell everybody that, that you're gay. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, it says in Genesis 1 and 27, it says that God created man in his own image. In the, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. So the message of the Bible is that God created man and woman. He created them, man, and that's what we're doing. We're loving you guys right now by telling you the truth about God's word. And not, and not, uh, and not, and not, and not just patting you guys on the back saying that it's okay, it's not okay. It's, it's, it's not okay to be homosexual. It's not okay to be gay. And a lot of pastors will tell you that. A lot of preachers will not tell you that. But we are here because that we love you enough that we will tell you the truth of you the gospel. Those guys that love God, number one, God look. You, you, you are bound, you are bound by the greatest commandment of them all. You're bound by the greatest commandment of them all, and, 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 and that is, in Matthew 22, and verse 36, it, it, it says this, it says, Master, which of these is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all of thy soul and with all of thy mind. That's the greatest commandment of everything, of, it, of, of, of all of the commandments, is to love God. Can we not love God and love 